Okay, you guys, me and Biv are stepping outside. We are on the road today because we are looking at houses. What houses? We just moved into this one. Yes, we know. Yep, we're looking at houses in Sarasota. I know that we just moved, but we've got opportunities all around us and we want to spread our wings. We want to try different things. So come along with us today as we tour some houses, both old and new, and think about maybe moving. Feels like Costa Rica. This is so cool. Wow. We just toured the coolest house. Yeah, I want to live there. It would make a perfect retreat center. So we're going to call everybody we know and see if we can figure out how to turn it into a retreat center. It's like Costa Rica in the United States. It was like Costa Rica in the middle of the city, an acre of land, and it was so cool. So we're going to call that the jungle house. They're not asking a ton of money for it. I think we could really make it happen. So if you're an investor, you want to partner with us and build a retreat center here in Florida, send us a message. Let's team up and make it happen. Now we are headed to the modern house that is most likely gonna happen because we're already invested. Let's go check it out. So this house is actually jungly too. We love that, number one, this is by the same builder who built our current house. And we are, again, basically business partners. So that's why this is most likely gonna be the house. And it's minutes from the most beautiful beach in the entire country, Siesta Key. Right. It's, um, and it's also minutes from downtown. So easy access to like anything and everything. Beautiful neighborhood for walking and riding bikes. As much as we want to live out in the country and grow fruit trees and all the things, we feel like we need to be close to the city. So if you guys are parents, let us know, like, is that also your dilemma? Like. You want to have land and space, but you also like want to be able to do things with your kids and leave <laughs> leave the house once in a while. So I don't know. That being said, we also have a baby on the way, so we're also like nesting in our current house. You can never find like the perfect of everything. You've got to. There's always a give and a take. But again, this is for total first world problems. I would say. <laughs> yeah, serious first world problems. They're all amazing options, and we feel super fortunate to to have options options but again you know with the real estate investing and stuff that we've done this is this is kind of where we are and so we want to share it with you guys we want your opinions on all of it enough said let's go look at house number two i feel like we're two years in the past talking about our current house because i really do think that this is our next step this house is the same builder it's just a little bit different home it's a two-story home and again, we're in the city where we want to be because there's so much more to do, but this is still has the integrity that our current home has as far as like I just mentioned, all the eco-friendly things, amenities, but we're super excited again about the possibility of being closer to friends and activities for the kids. This is where it used to go down. We, the first thing we would always do when we walked into a vacation rental, Airbnb, new house is stand at the kitchen island and go hey guys Erin here at eat move rest and welcome back to the kitchen today we're going to be making some colorful rainbowlicious <laughs> what have yous <laughs> i want to hear from you guys because i know i'm not the first person to be in this situation i know a lot of people have a baby and move or have a baby and switch careers or quit their job altogether or some it's just like when there's new it's not just one thing it seems like the newness always comes with other newness it almost makes it hard to really like process exciting things sometimes because they seem to happen at the same time let me know though if you guys have ever been in the process of moving during due date. I used to be really anxious because I used to future trip so much and I could be doing this with the thought of moving a few weeks after having a baby. Life has gotten so busy that I have really learned to just like train my brain to focus on what does later today hold? What does tomorrow hold? And I don't look past that very much. So even though I'm very, very eager and excited to take this leap and take another risk, at the same time, I'm just like, 
All right, guys, let's get home. Let's hunker down, let's nest, and let's just settle in for those first 40 days postpartum. And then from there, the sky is the limit. Let's do whatever you wanna do. But that's where my mind is at right now. So I really just tried to reel back and not future trip, like I said, and just like be in the moment. Oh, there's two houses here, guys, but this one has this amazing tree. And you know we are tree huggers, if you remember back to our Costa Rica videos. So this could be a good grounding, a good grounding tree for a new house. Yeah, I love the Spanish moss. So I hope you guys all had a very wonderful and peaceful Easter weekend. Now that April 1st has hit, it truly is the final stretch or the final countdown. And I'm coming back again to my word for the year and being very intentional. So I made a day date for Max and I in Sarasota, and I did the same with Liv. We had such a blast. It was just so amazing. Something I plan to continue doing even after baby number three arrives because it was just much needed. It's kind of funny when you go from one to two, you all, they almost become a package deal. It's difficult sometimes to keep in mind that they are still individuals that need their own mommy and me time. So on that note, we also were very intentional about having a family day date, which we have not done in so long. We had so much fun in Sarasota as a family, going out to eat, house hunting, it was such a blast and we were all laughing and having fun in the car. And Max at one point actually was like, mom, I want to laugh more. That was fun. <laughs> and so we were, then it's kind of like, okay, how do we do that? But literally two minutes later, we were hit with a devastating phone call from my dad. Unfortunately, my grandpa passed away, especially being on Easter weekend. It just felt like what a better way to be celebrating in heaven and be reunited with my grandma. He was 90 years old, raised 10 children successfully with my grandma and practiced medicine almost up until the day he passed away. He was the sweetest and the smartest man I have ever had the pleasure of knowing. So many amazing memories. So overall, I would say, so it's always difficult to lose a loved one. Selfishly, of course, being left behind Earthside, we still wish grandpa was with us, but ultimately we were truly celebrating for so many reasons. So that's kind of what we carried on doing with our day. And I'm kind of one of those people that also tends to put my emotions on the back burner and then all of a sudden they decide to come out like right now when they want to um, unexpectedly but we did have a fun time in Sarasota and it really was a time for us to sit down as a family and reflect on what truly matters and it's not necessarily you know the house hunt and the shopping and the material possessions as much as it is those who inhabit the home that really take it from house to home so you know just really spending that quality time being in intentional with each other and our relationships with each other um, especially before baby comes as opposed to sweating so much about having the nursery figured out with the perfect paint colors and the perfect crib and the perfect rocking chair and all of the bells and whistles that truly aren't even necessary. Just know that if you aren't feeling that urge to nest and buy, buy, buy and organize, 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 what baby truly needs is very, very simple and inexpensive. All they really need is your love, care and attention, breast milk and sleep. You would be surprised at how little you truly need. We literally bought a $50 car seat off of Facebook Marketplace. Totally hashtag third child vibes around here. <laughs> As far as nesting and organizing and decluttering, we kind of honestly did a little bit of that when we came home after being in Nebraska over Christmas. January 1st hit and I feel like we kind of purged at that point and got rid of a lot of things. We kind of feel like we just got things the way we wanted them, so it's already been nested in a sense. Desi and I both being type A people, we have gotten into the habit of just like constantly tidying up, chasing the kids around, putting things back as they make messes. But we've now realized that what really needs to happen is we need to be training them and raising them to be conscious of taking care of their belongings the way we take care of ours. So maybe they'll think twice before making a mess knowing now that they have to pick it up themselves. So that being said, the kids have actually kind of really enjoyed cleaning as of late. And their favorite thing is when we get out the branch basics. They're like, 
Mom, can we do branch basics yet? It's so hilarious. They want to clean the windows, they want to spray the countertops, they want to mop the floors. It's so much fun. Needless to say, we have been huge fans of branch basics because they are baby, kid, and pet friendly. It's non-toxic, hypoallergenic, fragrance-free, free of hormone disruptors all the things it checks every single box we use branch basics for everything from countertops windows laundry dish soap hand soap and you can even use it for produce wash all you really need is the concentrate and your set of glass bottles and the oxygen boost a little bit goes a long way and if you guys are interested in checking out branch basics you can actually use our discount code linked below in the description and it will give you 15 percent off all of the starter kits which is a great deal so i highly recommend checking them out Especially, like I said, if your kiddos want to help you with the cleaning around the house, this is the perfect way to do it. Liv is definitely in her terrible twos phase. Yesterday on Easter, she actually dripped melted dark chocolate down her pretty shiny new dress that I was so excited to have her wear and Oxygen Boost completely took it out. So whether it's chocolate or marker on the walls, it seems like it literally cleans anything and everything so effortlessly. And again, toxin free. Anyways, thank you guys for listening to me vent and get a little bit emotional. It's been quite a roller coaster because of course, this big exciting event is impending, but at the same time, we are feeling the loss of a loved one. So a little bit of a roller coaster to say the least, but I also feel kind of bad that there wasn't any recipe or food content in this video, and that's kind of our sweet spot. But there is plenty of that in our meal planner and recipe app, our eBooks, all of that good stuff. So if you're interested in gaining access to all of it, definitely join the Eat, Move, Rest Club because you can get 75% off the yearly membership and we're having so much fun growing our inner community and getting to know all of you guys. So we would love to have you join us. Right now we are in the middle of our smoothie swap challenge, which has been so much fun. I'm getting great recipe ideas from seeing all of you guys' delicious creations. On that note, another goodie I'm about to whip up is our superfood brownies. Those are in the meal planner and recipe app. They're great for lactation, so I'm trying to get back into making those again for a baby. <laughs> Be sure to also check out our free seven day video guide to feel better in your body. We go over the seven major areas of concern like weight management, protein and building muscle, being a social vegan. Definitely check that out linked below as well. Let us know what you wanna see next week. Hopefully we have a couple more shoot days before baby is here. So let us know what you wanna see most and we will be sure to deliver. Give this video a thumbs up Hit that subscribe button, leave me some love below, and until next week, eat, move, rest, and nest your best. Bye guys. Rather than prepping a nursery, we decided to get a floor bed for the kids so that they could kind of still sleep in our bedroom, but kind of transition out of the bed so there's more room for baby. I think it's gonna work out nice. I also think it'll be great if we're gonna do like family movie nights out here and have a soft space we can throw a blanket on top of to lay on our tummies with baby for tummy time and cozy up on the living room floor. <laughs> <laughs>